up, everybody? It's John with John Sports Arts Collectibles coming at you with a brand new video. How is everyone doing out there today in the YouTube universe? It is time for us to dive back into the archives of our collection and showcase a set. Yes, it's set time. Not a baseball card set, a hockey card set right here. We've got 1989 Topps Hockey. A pretty good year for Topps Hockey, but a very small set. 198 cards are in the set by Topps. The Opeachy version has a whopping 330 cards. There's also a 33 sticker set featuring NHL All-Star players and team logos. That set is not included in this one. That's in a separate um, box upstairs that's boxed away. This product, I believe, came in wax boxes, possibly cello packs, although I've never seen those, rack packs, and possibly vending boxes. There's also box, bo box bottoms on the bo bottom of the wax boxes that include some really big superstars, Wayne Gretzky, Mary Lemieux, etc. So, 1989 Tops. Had some really, really good rookies. Rookies like Trevor Linden, Tony Granado, Kirk McLean, and Leach, and Joe Sackick. Valuable cards of this release. Mario Lemieux, Wayne Gretzky, Brian Leach rookie card, Joe Sackick rookie card. So they're all in here. Let's take a look at this. We're in the midst of uh, hockey playoffs right now. I thought this might be a good time to dive into this into this old set. So away we go. I love this. I love this year, Tops. I wish Tops still did hockey cards. Still released hockey cards. They obviously have not in, in some time. Um, but let's get into this card number one right there, Mario Lemieux. There is the argument that goes on: who is the greatest? Of all time, Mario Lemieux or Wayne Gretzky. And then there's a few others to get thrown in the conversation. I'm obviously preferential to Mario Lemieux, being that I grew up watching Mario Lemieux. I remember the first time I saw Mario Lemieux play for the Pittsburgh Penguins. I got on my school bus the next morning after he had scored in a breakaway. And I was, you know, my jaw had hit the floor. I went in the school bus sat down with my little friends at the back of the bus and said, did you guys see Mario Lemieux play last night? And they looked at me and they didn't even know who he was. So I was kind of ahead of the curve on that and continued to describe the breakaway that he had scored on. And it was just, from that point on, um, I was just in love with the Pittsburgh Penguins and he was like my favorite player and still is to this day. Okay, Alf Dahlin, Terry Karkner, Tony McKegney. They painted his hat, his helmet there, I'm sorry. They were the Detroit Red Wings. I think he was with the Sabres prior to that. I believe we'll check in a second. Dennis Savar, Hall of Famer, Derek King, Lanny McDonald, going helmet helmetless. I don't know if the helmet rule had been implemented or not at this point. John Tonelli, Tom Curvers. McKegney was with, it looks like it says here, the Bruins. So Sabres, he'd been around for a long while at that point. Let's see who else we have here. Essa Tikkanen, I was a big Oilers fan too. Also Vancouver Canucks, Winnipeg Jets, uh, New Jersey Devils, a lot of different teams. Was not a fan, obviously, of the Philadelphia Flyers because they were our cross-state rival and it just could not stand them. <laughs> Did not like the Islanders very much either. You got the Hartford Whalers up here too with Peter um, Sidorkowitz. I think I'm saying that wrong, but I like the Whalers too. I had a soft spot for them. So here on this page, you got Tikkanen, Brett Sutter, Cam Neely, unbelievable player for the Bruins. Cal Johansson, that might be a rookie card. Patrick Waugh, right there. Just an uh, unbelievable goaltender for the Montreal Canadiens. Let's continue here. I do love this look, though. So you can see over here on this side, the back, kind of has like a um, a pink, uh, you know, 
a, a light pink uh, coloring here with the uh, with the cardboard gray type background. Uh, has vitals, uh, player name, um, position, card number. His stats going back to his first year, and then a little like not all of them have it, but uh, maybe like a highlight. It seems like here, and then the uh, playoff record too. Okay, Phil Bork, Kevin Deneen, Mike Bullard, Brian Mullen, Gary Lehman, Pierre Turgeon, very good player here, there, uh, Peter Zezel, Jeff Brown, Mike Gartner, great player, Darren Pang, pretty good goaltender right there, Pat Verbeek, who else we have? Tom Barrasso, great goaltender. For the Buffalo Sabres and then our Pittsburgh Penguins. And I'm not sure who we played with after us. Uh, but he was really, really good. I was so happy we got him too. Uh, Reggie Lemelin, Dino Cicerelli, Yari Curry. What a superstar. Cliff Roning. Pretty really, you know, pretty good player right there. Dave Babich, Bernie Nichols, John Casey, great goaltender for the North Stars. Al McGinnis, I believe Hall of Famer. What an unbelievable defenseman he was, too. Bob Airy, Pittsburgh Penguins. He currently is one of our announcers. Who else do we have here? Uh, Guy Carboneau. Thomas Sendstrom. Rod Langway. Played for a long time. Patrick Sundstrom. Michel Goulet. Great player. Dave Taylor. A lot of these players are really good. This is a really, you know, great year of hockey. And the Penguins would go on a few years later and win their first cup. So these a lot of these players around the league were really coming in their own too. And they had some old veterans floating around still. Phil Housley, great defenseman right there. Pat LaFontaine, Kurt McLean, rookie right there. Unbelievable goaltender for the Vancouver Canucks. Kenny Lindsman, the rat. Randy Cunningworth. Mark Messier. Christian Rutu, Dave Ellett, good player there for the Winnipeg Jets. Ray Ferraro, another standout player there with the Hartford Whalers. Tim Kerr, pretty good player there for the Flyers. Did not like them, like I mentioned earlier. <laughs> Did like the Flyers. Doug Gilmore, I'm sure he's in the Hall of Fame. There he is with the Calgary Flames. Great player. Dale Hunter, scrapper. Mike Foligno, another great player there for the Sabres. Eli Afraidy, Rick Tockett. Steve Yeiserman, I believe Hall of Famer, unreal. Who else we have here? Neil Broughton, another good one, followed by Luke Robitaille, Trevor Linden, rookie, James Patrick, Sean Burke. I don't, that might be a rookie, too. I'm not 100% sure on that, but a pretty good goaltender for the Devils. Scott Stevens, Paul Coffey, Mike Liute. Craig Simpson was on our pens, and we traded him, and you know, but he didn't. I don't think he panned out the way that they thought he would. Shell Samuelson, I believe that's a rookie. Who else is on here? Mike Krusilenski is good. Dave Andertruck, I believe, rest in peace. One of my favorites growing up with the Winnipeg Jets. There he is, the Buffalo Sabers. Bernie Fredericker, another one, good one there. Gary Souter, great player. Ray Bork, Hall of Famer. Jeff Cortnall, rookie right there with the Capitals. Doug Wilson, another Hall of Famer. There's the Joe Sackick rookie. Um, I'd say the center on this is just a little bit off. Left to right, top to bottom, looks pretty good. Um, this corner bothers me a little bit. A little bit of a white mark there. We have other Sackicks. Um, maybe I'll swap it out. John Van Beesbrook, great goaltender there for the Rangers. Who else? We have Kurt Muller. Another great player there for the Devils. Matt Snazland, Ray Shepard, Dale Howardchuk. I say Andy Chuck was with the um, Jets. I was incorrect in saying that. Where is it? Let's go back here. Maybe already we have already passed him. I was thinking of Dale Howardchuk, not Andy Chuck. Yeah, he was always with the, with the Sabres. I had the two mixed up, sorry. Howardchuk was the guy that I was like, Big time fan of for the Jets. And Truck was good too. Steve Duchesne. 
Ricky Vive, John Anderson, a good player, Jimmy Carson, Larry Murphy, great defenseman right there, Paul McLean, love that stash, played for a long, long time, Joe Sorella, another really good defenseman, who else we have, Ed Olchek, good player there too, Dave Tippett, Brian Leach, rookie, right there, another good one, Greg Millen, good solid goaltender for a long time in the league. Joe Neuendijk, a great player. Brian Propp, Mike Ramsey. Peter Stosny, part of the Stosny brothers. Flying Stosny's, Glenn Hanlon, decent goaltender for a long time. John Cullen, Kevin Hatcher. I think he would, I would expect him to be in the Hall of Fame. I don't know the list in front of me. I should start probably putting that out and keep talking about. It's one of those things you think about doing and you tend to forget about. Uh, Brendan Shannon, Brian Trottier, Stefan Richet, Doug Bodge, another great player right there, good defenseman. Ronnie Hextall, great goalie. <laughs> we used to boo him at the Penguin games, saying, Ronnie, Ronnie. And I remember one game that we were, uh, we had season tickets to the Penguins for a long, long time. And I remember one game, we were heckling Hextall so bad, he was like losing his mind. Um, I think we scored seven goals on him or was some high amount. And, um, cause he, you know, was a phenomenal goaltender. And then we just, the fans got to him and he uh, reacted. I think, I don't know if he still does, but he ended up working as an executive for the Penguins. Um, I think it was a few years ago. I'm not sure if he's still with the team or not in the, uh, in the, uh, in the main offices there, upper management and whatnot. There's Wayne Gretzky right next to Ronnie Hextall. Dave Christian, another one of my favorites growing up. Andy Moog, Tony Granato, rookie. Sylvain Cote, Mike Vernon, great goaltender right there. I mean, really, really good goaltender. Who else we have here? Kelly Rudy, pretty good. Bob Carpenter, pretty good player. Zalda Zalapski. I don't know if he, he did that. Definitely didn't pan out to the way that they thought he would be. Um, it was okay. We trade him, I think, to the um, Whalers for this man right here, Ron Francis. So you got Ronnie Sutter, great player. Chris Chelios, I imagine he's already in the Hall of Fame, too. Great defenseman, the Canadians. Ron Francis, I imagine he's in the Hall of Fame as well, too. Just a phenomenal player. Brian Bell is another great player right there. Steve Larmer, Aaron Broughton. I'm not mentioning everybody. There's a lot. You can see the names. There's a lot of big names here. Brent Ashton. Uh, Adam Oates, my gosh, just great. Brett Hall, Bobby Smith, Guy Lafleur, rest in peace. Just recently passed away. There he is with the Rangers. Obviously a longtime Montreal Canadiens player. Played for the Nordiques like a season, maybe or two at the most. Uh, Ron, this might be the last page. I think it is. Mark Howe, Grant Fuhr, Pete Peters, Steve Casper, and we went with Joey Mullen. Robbie Brown's there and Craig Janney. That's the page and two checklist cards. So a very, very short set, but a very cool set. And um, I'm so happy that, again, I'm able to share this with you. I'm happy that I have this. I picked this up a few years ago. I wasn't collecting this year, although I do a lot of baseball. For some reason, I didn't buy any hockey. We have a lot of sets from the years down. Uh, Tops and Opeachy. We've showcased some here on the channel. Um, but this one I never had. I picked this up a few years ago. And then we opened a wax box of this product as well. So we have the sticker set too. And I probably should have tried to incorporate it in here. But I, um, it's it's kind of buried away in some of the uh, card boxes in the archive. So I didn't want to really have to go through a lot. Because we've got a lot going on here. With the channel, the store, things like that. So in our auctions. But this was accessible, and I thought, let me showcase this. This will be fun to show everybody. So uh, just a really killer, cool set. Um, I'd love to get my hands on the you know, Peachy one to see what other players are talking like, you know, you know, uh, an, an, you know, another almost double, the close, not double, but, you know, close to uh, another uh, 175 cards somewhere in there, maybe a little less than that, 150 cards. Um Less than that, 100, 100, uh, 152 cards, I think, I'm, I'm, if I'm doing my math correct, to total the 330. Um, but I love to see those other players. I think there's a couple um, rookies that are in that that aren't in this. So uh, good rookies, too. So there you go, guys. 1989 Tops Hockey Set. Hopefully you enjoyed this. 
Um, be sharing a couple of other stories too, as well. So I just want to kind of, you know, reminisce and talk about those things. Um, I was at the Civic Arena one time uh, in Pittsburgh, and it's now torn down and gone. We have a new arena. We've had it for, had it for some time now. But uh, there was one time that uh, I was at the game, at a Penguin game. I think we were playing the Winnipeg Jets because, you know, um, had to go to that one. We had season tickets, but didn't go, didn't always go the, the first years. We might sell the tickets, give them away. But I was at the arena one time playing the Winnipeg Jets, and uh, the lights went out. And the whole place, a fuse blew or something happened. And the Penguins and the Jets played on, like, the supplementary uh, lighting, which was, it was so dim. I don't even know how the guys could even see, see the puck. But it, it was so surreal and weird. And, you know, this is before cell phones and, you, you know, video cameras were, were uh, you know, not, not, uh, not everybody had video cameras. So I don't even know if that ever even was filmed. Um, but it was definitely a weird experience so just another thing with another memory that i just had um thinking about this set and that was in like that was probably in the uh early 80s when that happened anyway that's all i got for you guys today we will have a, a, a preview video for our auction coming up uh this week as well and then we've got a uh killer um wax box actually a cello box uh which is part of the dimitri young um wax box law that we purchased from his son um, and so we'll have the second box of that seven box lot, uh, video of that this week. I think you're going to love it. It's, it's awesome. Um, we filmed it yesterday and, and, uh, it'll be up this Thursday for throwback Thursday. And we might have one other surprise, uh, video this week too. So, and of course our auction, which will be this Saturday and we'll be moving, um, to Friday is more than likely after this Saturday. So a little extra information for you guys. Uh, hopefully you like this one though. And remember to give this a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Remember to like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this set. Um, and uh, I love this. This is great. And what else can I say? Share this video with your friends, family, loved ones. Our eBay store link is down below in the description. We also have a few other links down there for my slabs and also for you comic book fans. We have Short Box, which is another app that we uh, sell our comic books on. And I've got a bunch of great comics that we've showcased here um, of the uh, CGC re reveals that I need to get. Uh, posted on our eBay store and also the short box soon. And we also have a, a big CSG reholder order that I'm going to try to film a video for and showcase. But those cards are slowly being added back to our eBay store. They're all Gem Mint 10. So go look out for those on the eBay store. And that's all I got for you guys today. I appreciate you stopping by, spending uh, 18 minutes out of your day watching our latest video. Thank you. Um, and that's all I've got for you guys. So until next time, folks, this is John John, Sports Arts Collectible, signing off. And hey, I'll see you all soon.